All right, welcome. So today uh, we're going to have a little chat about human factors and ergonomics. So reminder that you should be filling out the form to answer some of these little note-taking questions, but um, have that open as well as you're going through this. But let's let's give it a try. So ergonomics, it's the definition is ergon and nomos, which is the natural laws of work. And really the way the way that it's described is ergonomics, you hear that word a lot, but it's about the relationship between human beings and the design of objects, systems, or their environment. So this right here is the actual definition. All right, so it's really about that relationship between people or or it could be, it actually could be pets or anything else as well, but between um, humans and designed objects. So why is this important? You'll see it a lot. You use ergonomics, you, you've probably heard of ergonomic pencils, or you've noticed chairs that are more ergonomic, less ergonomic, handholds in doors that are more ergonomic or not, shoe sizes, a lot of these things are all determined by ergonomics and human factors. So that's why it's important. It also is, there's ways that we can use it and it's kind of the science of getting this information down rather than, oh, that just feels comfortable. But you can start to put numbers on certain things, talk about distances, talk about the way that things work, and then you're actually able to create, it makes a science of that relationship between people and the objects, okay? So here's another example, that idea of intimate space versus public space. And I just thought this was kind of funny, the smallest airline seats look super uncomfortable, but thinking about the ergonomics and how people relate with actual products, okay? So the other thing, this is a quick little video. If you're on the slides, you can, you can have a look and have a watch, but it's about ergonomics inside of computers, okay? And the, it's basically about as you're sitting, when you're in, in the chair, when you're inside the computer. And then moving on to anthropometrics, psychological factors, and physiological factors. The first one that we're going to concentrate on is anthropometrics. So in the next video, that's what this is all going to be about. Okay?